Cyclotron M400, a vintage method of what we call sampling today, done with tape strips. Every sound on here is a recording of an actual instrument recorded on tape strips. And every note you play pulls the tape strip across the tape head, playing the actual instrument back from strings, the cello, and of course the famous flutes. What we're going to show you with this today is how to change the actual tape assembly cartridge in this. It's a, actually a fairly straightforward process. You just have to go slow and be careful with it. So your first step is of course turn it off and then the lids come off just by pulling carefully. You set it aside. That will reveal your key bed. Now there's two secret blocks here, which both pop off. Set them aside. First thing you'll do is remove the key bed. And you'll notice it even has a warning printed on it. Do not lay keyboard down on opposite side. When we pull this out, I'll show you. There are four red colored thumb nuts that we have to loosen to remove the key bed. And when they're loose, you want to pick it up right here carefully and lift it right out of the unit. We're not loose yet. There we go. And when you turn it over, the reason you don't want to lay it on this side is because this is where you have your little felt pads and all these little pinch rollers like a tape deck would have. And you don't want to damage them. So then you take it and lay it aside. And that will reveal your tapes. The next step is this metal panel has to come out and it just lifts off. You'll set it aside. And here's your tape strips. Next step is the yellow thumb wheels. You'll loosen them and it's a rail all the way across that you're loosening. And then you'll carefully lift this up because you're lifting the tapes out of their guides and you will bring it clear back to here and then lower it. And there's these notches on each side where this little tab on each side fits into. I'll lift that up so you can see that. See the little notch there? That's where you put those in. Once you have it to this step, you've revealed the tape heads, which is what changes the sound. It's like three tracks moving back and forth. Pretty clever. Your last two thumb wheels are the black ones. Not all Mellotrons might have that coloring on them, but it's the same thing. And you have to loosen them up completely. And these are usually a little tougher to turn. I think they're a little longer. Once they're free, the next step will be to lift the cartridge out. And this is where you have to be really careful so you don't damage anything. And it should just lift straight out of the machine. This is the source of your sound. So when you go to lay this down, you'll want to lay it on the side with the little long pieces just like this. Carefully. And we're going to install this cartridge next. Which is the exact reverse process. You have to turn it around so that your little pins we talked about right here are lined up in the same position. And it's a reverse process. have to work it around everything. In you go. Tighten the screws. Make sure it's not, you want to wrench down on it, but it's got to be snug. 
And then you just do the same thing as before. You carefully lift your tape bar out. And you're going to set it carefully in the guides and over so you can screw it back down into the same position the other one was in. And then your metal plate goes here. And next is your key bed. You have to carefully line it up and you lay it, set it in there and then you just tighten all your screws back down. And that's it. The next step of course would be to put your lid back on. So we will put it on and we'll, you know, before you put your lid on you actually should put your little end pieces in. Let's see here, which side goes on which side? Yep, had it right the first time. Okay, now put your lid back on. There, and you're done. Power it up. Takes a moment for everything to get moving inside. And... That's how you do the Mellotron.